All right, so today I'm going to show you how to add block attributes to a weld symbol. So this happens to be a J groove both side weld symbol that's to be inserted on the left side of a drawing. So by attributes, what I mean is when we insert it, we should get a box that looks like this that we can then edit these values. So I can change that to 1 8, I can change this to a 2 4 intermittent weld, and so on on down the line. And you'll see where that changed my size of weld and it changed my length of weld and my pitch of weld. So what we're doing today is we're going to create all these attributes to go along with this weld symbol and the text justification is shown on here. So the first step, if we take a look at our process, so the process is open a drawing to create the blocks in and then set your current layer to zero, then draw the block and identify insertion points for attributes. So we've already created this block so you should have a weld symbol library so go ahead and open it up and find this j groove both side weld left and then we create these points so here's the information that you need for creating the location of these points so i'll go ahead and give you a little bit of time to do that and now that we've done that now we move on so now we're ready to start creating our attributes so we will start with this size so basically size one so we'll type in att and that will be the attribute definition command so att and hit enter for tag i'll type in size for prompt i'll put leg underscore size underscore of underscore weld i will not use a default value i'll check the box for lock position i will uncheck the annotative, because I don't want my text to be annotative. My style, SATC annotative justification. I want it to be middle right. For my text height, 0.125, and it's going to be on layer zero, so that's already specified earlier. I'll have my specify on screen box checked. Then when I hit OK, this attribute is floating on the end of my cursor. So I'm going to come in here and select the node. If you don't get that little circle, you'll need to turn on node and you'll click on that node and that will place the size. Now you can go ahead and do the rest of these. Uh, contour, length, pitch, length, pitch two, contour two and process. And here is the information that you need to be able to create those. This is your J groove, both sides left. So there's your tag, your prompt, default modes, whether it's and whether that text box for annotated needs to be checked or not, what style. So there's all your information. I'll go ahead and give you a minute to go ahead and create these. All right. So after you get that created, now we're ready to turn this into a block. So the way we do that is you start your block command. So we'll type B and enter. Your name. So we'll follow our same naming format. So J groove, both sides. And then this is intended to be inserted on the left side of a drawing. So we'll do left. Base point, I'll specify on screen and go ahead and select my objects. When you select your objects, you want to select your attributes in the order you want them to be displayed. So the order that I use is size first, then length pitch, and then contour, followed by process, and then the same on the bottom side. So size two, length pitch two, contour two, and then I need to select everything that's going to be part of my weld symbol. So my reference line, the weld symbols themselves, and then the tail. And after I have all that selected, I'll hit enter. It takes me back here. I'm going to use the retain option. So when I create this, it's going to look like nothing happened, but it's going to define this as being a block. So I'll do retain here. I do want this to be an annotative block because I want the size of this to change as I change my annotation scale. And I will leave allow exploding checked. So I'll hit OK. And then since it's already defined in this drawing, it asks me if I want to redefine it. And I'll say yes, I want to redefine the block. 
And then just remember down here, check your command line. Right now it says specify insertion point. So I'm gonna click the endpoint of my reference line as my insertion point. And once I do that, now I have created and I've finished that block definition. So I can go ahead and test it. So I'll just come on up over to the side. I'll do I for insert. I'll find that J groove both sides left. Got it right there. I'll go ahead and hit OK. And then when I place it, these attributes come up. I can enter information in here as I need to. Then hit OK. And that's all there is to creating a weld symbol with attributes. So then the only other thing to keep in mind is as you're creating these, I'll just go ahead and show you these real quick. So J groove opposite side left. So this is what it's going to look like when you're done as far as your text, text justification and the location of those attributes. And then here is the same one inserted on the right. There's the J groove both sides left that we just got done with. There's J groove both sides right. J groove same side right. And J groove same side left. So a couple things to point out on these weld symbols. You'll notice that the vertical leg is always on the same side, no matter if it's a left or a right weld symbol. That vertical leg is always on the same side. The other thing that you should notice is that size is always on the same side, no matter what weld symbol you're working with. Size always stays to the left of your weld symbol. All right, then the other thing to be aware of is whether it's a left or a right, your text justification will change on some of these. So we did the J groove opposite side left. I'll go ahead and show you what the attributes for the right one would look like. So when you go to create your right one, here's your tags, your prompts. You'll notice some justification. There will be a few of these, maybe one or two, where the justification will be different. All right, so beyond that, I think that's everything you should need to know to create attributes for your weld symbols. I hope it goes well for you, and good luck. Thanks for listening.